15. Let's get over to paint. It's looking kind of gross outside. It is. You know, we haven't seen much rain in the city over the past several hours, but it's been coming down just to our south. If you're watching us down in Lafouche, Terrebonne, Lower Jefferson or Lower Plaquemine, it's really been raining all morning and raining very heavy down in Homa. So if you're heading out in Homa, Shriver, Gray, and even into Thibodeau now, we are still seeing that heavy rain. For some locations pick up, there's also some lightning and thunder, so watch for some localized street flooding in and around the Homa area. This is a live view of what it looks like here in the city of New Orleans, but in Homa it is coming on down. Already picked up nearly two inches of rain down there. So a lot of these rain showers are going to hang out just south of the city the remainder of the afternoon, but we may see one or two try to creep north. North Shore areas, the chances of rain are even lower. I have your chances at about 20% today, 40% in the city, but up to an 80% chance of rain just south of the city once you get into the areas where it's already raining. Those are the spots where we have a higher chance of some street flooding. Likely already have some ponding on roads down there in Homa and approaching Thibodeau this afternoon. So that's going to be our hot spot for the next several hours that we're really keeping an eye on. But we could still see a few showers try to work closer to the city here. The reason all that rain's parked down there, it's partly tied the barrel, believe it or not, which that's what's left of that system. It's moving through the Great Lakes as a post tropical system, but there's this boundary or weak front that's draped across our area, and that's where we see our concentration of showers. It's sitting just to the south of the city. What's interesting about barrel is it's still causing problems, specifically tornadoes. It has been a prolific tornado producer on Monday. There was over 100 tornado warnings issued. Yesterday we had confirmed tornadoes even up into Indiana, Indiana. And today we're I have a tornado watch for New York. We're talking upstate New York areas that typically don't have tornadoes. They're getting ready for that round of storms to push through. That includes Syracuse and other surrounding areas. So that's where the big rough weather is going to be for today. Steel from what is left over a barrel, a heightened risk of tornadoes for those areas. 10% chance that they see one within 25 miles of any given location. That's pretty high. It's a level three out of five when you look at your threat levels overall. For us, though, we're just watching for those heavier showers here and there. Now, the good news, there's nothing major brewing in the tropics. There's no barrel 2.0 coming anytime soon, but there's a lot of dust, and there's this feature right here off the east coast. Hurricane Center is going to keep an eye on that one. We're not worried about it. What we're going to actually watch is some more Saharan dust that's been hanging out in the Gulf of Mexico. May try to creep up to us. You may see a little haze from that. But this feature right here may slowly try to come together. Either way, it's going to produce some rain out in the Atlantic here over the next several days. And then that moisture slowly gets pulled up into the Carolinas, South Carolina and North Carolina. So they're expecting a little bit more rainfall from that. But other than that, that's it. We've checked off Alberto, Beryl, and Chris. The next name on the list is Debbie. That one doesn't look like Debbie forming, but you never know. Seven day forecast, scattered storms again today and tomorrow. We'll have watch for a few storms as we head into the weekend. Temperatures in the upper 80s today, thanks to all that cloud cover, but the 90s will be back soon, so that heat will be raging for the weekend. Heads up for boaters, not good weather in the Gulf of Mexico, but the lake is fairly calm this afternoon and we'll watch for a few storms here and there. High tide, those are happening through the remainder of the afternoon and your low tide, that'll happen in the early morning hours.